we have been discussing histological features of trachea and have already discussed epithelium in earlier videos. We will be discussing basement membranes and the basement membranes in general rather than basement membranes of the respiratory mucosa. Basement membranes are thin sheet-like structures that hold epithelial cells onto its surface. Basement membranes are made up of type 4 collagen, which is a protein. Nearly 24 different types of collagen have been described by researchers so far, and the number is increasing. The classification is based upon shape, physical properties, and amino acid composition of the pro protein. Type 4 collagen is an important component of all basement membranes found in the human body and it makes web-like formations in contrast to type 1, type 3 and other types that make fibrils and then fibers. This definition though is true for most basement membranes but in case of respiratory mucosa the structure that is clearly visible under hematoxylin and eosin stain also has a layer of closely packed fibers which includes reticular fibers. Reticular fibers are made up of type 3 collagen. Not only the basement membrane provides structural support but also connects epithelium with the connective tissue underneath. Epithelium although is rich in nerve supply but does not have blood supply at all. So all nutrients, oxygen and metabolites have to cross this membrane to reach epithelial cells to keep them alive. Connective tissue of mucosa, which is known as lamina propria, is rich in blood supply from where all metabolites travel to epithelial cells. Basement membrane offers selective permeability. Another very important function of basement membrane is to separate basal cells and other epithelial cells from growing into connective tissue. This though can happen in cancer formations. More than 90% of the cancers arise in epithelium and then invade other tissue by breaking the barrier of basement membrane. So three important functions have been described here. One is to hold the, the epithelium to provide structural support to the epithelium. Second is to provide selective permeability uh, in order to provide uh, nutrients to the epithelial cells which do not have direct blood supply. The third important function is to separate the growth or, or uh, stop the growth of uh, basal cells and other epithelial cells into the connective tissue which can happen in case of cancer formations. Thank you very much.